Welcome back guys, in this episode I will show you how we can create the following share sheet As you can see once I click on share ID, I get this ID copied over here and I can send it to any of my most recent contacts I can choose to airdrop it, I can simply copy it, open it in my default browser, save to files, email, facebook, messenger, gmail, whatever you call it you will find it over here now this is going to be very simple to do but also very important in any of your new apps that you're creating and I'll make sure that this works on both iPad and iPhone. Without further ado, let's go ahead and start this episode. Welcome back guys. Now as you can see I already have a project here that I'm creating for my client and I'm up to this page where uh, you're supposed to click on share ID and once you click on share ID you are going to be copying this ID over here and be able to use a share sheet to share on messages, Facebook, email, WhatsApp, whatsoever. So this is going to be used by a team at a warehouse where you can just share this instantly with as many users as you possibly can. Luckily for us, SwiftUI actually comes with a really nice share sheet that we can use. So what we want to do is we want to create a function that when this button is pressed, we are going to call that function which triggers our share sheet. Now this is actually very easy to do and obviously we're going to go ahead and start by creating the share, the share sheet straight away. Okay, so let's start by calling the function share ID for open and close it. And here I'm going to pass in the info that we actually want to share. So I'll simply type in info and it will be of type string. Next, we are going to create another uh, constant and we're going to say let info you for used equals to info from our parameter. You can obviously skip this step, but I'm just doing it to make it more clear. Let's go ahead and create an AV and I'm going to say let AV is equal to UI activity view controller. Inside of here, we are going to select the first one for activity items. So what are we actually sharing? Well, we're going to be sharing that string that we're going to copy. So over here, what we need to do is we need to replace any by info you. Application activities, we're going to select, or sorry, we're going to type in new. Let's move on and type in UI application dot shared dot windows dot first question mark. And then we're going to say dot root view controller again another question mark and then a dot and we're going to say present so now we're actually presenting our view uh, sorry our um share sheet and we're going to type in a v which we just created over here for animated i want it to be animated so i'll be saying true but obviously you can just make it so that it pops for a completion handler we don't actually need it so we're going to say new after that this will actually work however if you have an iPad, the app will crash straight away. So we need to handle this. So we need to check if the device that the Sheshi is being working on is an iPad, we need to handle things differently. So we're going to say if UI device dot current dot user interface ID IOM is equal to dot iPad. Obviously here you can see the dot, you can see the remaining, but we are going to say dot pad for iPad. So if we are using this share sheet on iPad, what we need to do is we need to change the layout. So we're going to say over presentation controller. We're going to put a question mark. We're going to say dot source view. And we're going to say that it's equal to UI application dot shared dot windows dot first. Beautiful. So we're nearly actually done. We're going to move forward and we're going to say AV dot pop over presentation controller question mark dot source rect and we're going to say that it's equal to cg rect and we're going to open a bracket and we are going to select the one with an x a y um and a width and a height so just the first one oh, sorry this one there we go for our x we're going to say ui screen dot main dot bounds dot width divided by 2.1 you can customize this so that you actually customize 
the view of your share sheet, but that's what I'm going to be keeping it as. Make sure you leave a space, otherwise Swift will get confused. For the Y, we are also going to actually just copy this. And instead of having it as width, we're going to replace this by height. And this time, and actually let me remove this from here. So for the width, um, sorry, for the height over here, we're going to say divided by 1.3. This is the sizing that I feel is really good looking when it comes to the iPad. Again, you can change it for width. We're going to change it to 200. For height, we are going to make it 200 as well. Now, please make sure that none of what we just did in terms from the if statement will work on your iPhone. This is just in case it's an iPad. Otherwise, you're actually done all the way from the start. Let's go ahead and run our app and see whether or not it will actually work uh, as we expected or not. Okay, wonderful. So I have the app here running and we are going to click on don't have a team, create one below. As you can see, we have the ID over here. We also have our button, share ID. And if I click on it at the moment, nothing happens. And that's because we forgot to call this function. So let's go to our button. Now, wherever you created your button, you're just going to call it from the action over here. We're going to type in share ID for info. We're going to pass in team code. So that's simply just the code here. You can just pass like a normal string, like hard code or an image or anything you want. Now let's run this and see how it will work this time. Okay, so now we're up. Let's click on don't have a team, create one and click on share ID. And as you can see, we now have our share ID, uh, sorry, our share sheet available with our most recent contacts with Facebook, Instagram. You can even add more uh, apps here if you have any or copy it or pretty much do really share it anyway. The options are limitless. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this episode and if you learned something new, please make sure you leave a lot, uh, uh, subscribe and leave a like and maybe a comment below. Have a good day.